every household agent assigned to monitor your progress shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Before you leave your house, make sure you do this declaration and you cannot go wrong with it. You will come back home with happiness and joy. You don't need too much. Get me your Bible and sugar, cube of sugar. Please, if you don't have a cube of sugar, you can take a pinch, a small grounded sugar okay to avoid too much question on the comment section god bless you immediately you finish reading matthew 7 verse 7 to 8 you are about to leave as i'm i'm about to go out now okay now already you read your bible you read that verse inside your house or you are the type that have a pair of bible inside your car you can as well read your bible while you do this immediately you are done reading it please Sugar is not too healthy, but it's not bad at all. This is a cube. Take sumo chikele. You can use something to cut them into smaller pieces. Don't do this very prayer with sugar on a daily basis. No, it's not healthy for you. You can do it first day of the week. That is once in a week or two times a month. Take a pinch, put it in your mouth. What you have to say is, Lord... The Bible verse told you something. Now apply wisdom to it. Father, as I go out today, every household agent assigned to monitor my movement in the name of Jesus, they shall receive this grace. I shall be invisible today. As I go out today, O oh Lord, as this sweet as this sugar is, Baba, let my journey be sweeter in the name of Jesus. Let my journey be sweeter. Even if you are going to your shop, you want to embark on a journey like traveling. Anyone at all. You want to go and buy something, you can do this. You will not know when your helper will locate you. The journey will always go smoothly. Somebody will say, why are you using sugar? If they put sugar for your mouth, you de throw it. She be the sweet. If your life is as sweet as sugar, honey, is it, not, is it a bad thing? You are not, you were not, in fact, the reason of you coming into this world is not to face pain, sorrow always, disappointment always. At least you have to experience the, the sweeter part of it as well. As a child of God, whoever you are, go for this assignment. Make sure as you pray, swallow the sugar, don't spit it out. Let the sugar go into your body. As I go out, Lord, let this journey be the best. You that went somewhere before and did not succeed, go ahead and do this. See, it is impossible to, to please God without faith. You must apply faith when doing this prayer. Knock, you will, the door will be open for you. Go ahead, swallow the sugar before you go out to your journey. Make sure you open your mouth and say, don't forget this. So shall it be in Jesus' name. The name that is above every other name this prayer is what you can do every day if your body system can contain the pinch of sugar you will take but if not do it once in a week or two times in a month that is the reason why i said you don't have to use the sugar on a daily basis but praying such prayers before going out is a is a very perfect one it's open